Welcome back. So here we are again, and uh, last time we checked out a couple more things, just explaining a few of the basic systems, how they worked. We did the docking, the hyperdrive, and um, I think some of the hollow display options. This time what we're going to be doing is we're going to take a quick look at some builds. So we're going to take a break from the guides real quick. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you a couple of things. So here we have, I was inspired by Rick and Morty's car, like Rick's, Rick's car. Obviously it's got like a hyperdrive and a big thruster under here, which isn't anything to do with it. I just needed somewhere to hide the wiring. Uh, this one started off being this ring ship over here. But I didn't like the canopy. It was a bit dodgy and... Um, you know, yeah, it was cool, but I wanted to turn it into something else. So I deleted all of the uh, section here, all of that center section, took all that off, and then I just turned the ship around. Um, obviously, the wiring was sticking out, so that's essentially why there's a big rocket thruster under here. If I built this from scratch, I probably would have put the wiring somewhere else, but there is quite a lot of it buried in there. Um, to control each of these hinges because um, essentially if I there is a button if I hit the green button for some reason they're not labeled you can see how it's made so it's just a great big long line and um, the cut section makes a dish and everything sort of meets in the middle so every single one of these is a different child entity and then these wedges are covering up the hinge pretty much um, so when you hit this button there you go it's got a warp drive so you can travel around the galaxy with it it's got a teleporter so you can get back to it quickly and it has a seat for your Mortys so there's your map I think is this the one that yeah that makes your map open so that we can get out scroll around you can uh, let's go there it's down here we're gonna go into it <laughs> no doesn't feel like working like I say this is all still in development but yeah you can get it to work I've made it work a few times so yeah let's turn that let's turn it off yeah so it's all, all the wiring must be hidden around here so yeah, it's a very simple little saucer. Um, I'm going to put the links in the description for downloads to these. Obviously it's a closed alpha currently, so uh, you might not be able to uh, play with these yet. And I doubt they'll work. Well, they might still work moving forward, but you can never count on it with alphas. So Okay, so let's fly this up and take a look at the other ships I want to show you. Can we go into thrust? Yeah, there we go. Right, so we'll leave the tutorial area and we'll fly up to, yeah, there's the demo, it's over there. Okay, so there's two ships I want to show you. The first one was built first. I find as I've been getting used to this game, I've been getting more advanced with what I'm doing. Um, oh wait, actually there's another one over there. Huh? Let's go and check that one out quickly because that one's there. Uh, I don't know why it's so far away suddenly. It was parked up over there. The game sort of moved it. Oh god, what's going on? Something was happening there, I don't know. Oh, what's that? Am I dying? I'm dying! Put your helmet on, mate. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Oh god, I don't know what that is. Maybe I've got a smoke vent somewhere, I don't know. So let's take a look at this ship, shall we? This is my UFO. So again, link will be in the description. So let's just park up here. And we'll take a look at it. Thing's still moving. Not a good idea. Maybe I didn't actually stop it properly. Anyway, so let's go up here in through the bottom it's lit up there's like a little spot for the light this is the jump and hollow map the hollow map is quite oh no it's not that large in here i thought i made it bigger oh wow this thing this whole ship is moving looks like i didn't stop it properly so hollow map 
Okay, and essentially this UFO kidnaps people and it clamps you in here. Here we are, and then you enter the brain probe. Right. And now we're back in control. Let's fly over there. So yeah, so uh, we've got a little gimbal camera on the on the roof, so you've got 360 degree flight. Um, it does, do I, does it, is it left click? No, is it one? Right click? Oh boy. Something just fell off. I don't know what it was. It's got a big laser beam underneath, but you can't, you don't seem to be able to see it. I think the window might be stopping it from working. Whoa, what was that? Something keeps falling out of the, is that me? I don't know. Something keeps falling out of it. Right, so uh, let's slow this thing down then. It's funny, it's making a noise and then something's falling. What is that? What is th Is that? That's the ship from earlier. <laughs> Getting a little, few little bugs. All right, so let me just get out of this thing. Ah, yeah, when you're in here, it like clamps your arms and legs. Oh, wow, it's still not stopped, look. Anyway, so let's unfold it and show you how this thing's built quickly. So it's exactly the same concept as the other one, but bigger. And um, that's all I've done is made a great big cut section. Is this thing still... Hang on a minute, I need to, I need to have a look at this. It still docks, apparently. Oh dear, <laughs> that was a very confused little ship. <coughs> anyway, so there's the laser, there's the map, there's the controls, Sim simples. I kind of wanted to make it look like the player was, uh, you know, attached unwillingly. So that was fun. So we'll close her up. So it's uh, every single section on this one. It's a section of three by three with a five degree hinge. And I found that that allowed it's just a little gap, which kind of just looks like um, edging. It wasn't too bad. It does go a little bit crazy on the uh, canopies, but you know, it kind of looked a little bit like what uh, they do. It looked, looked like what they look like in simple terms. So there we go. So it's just a shame the laser didn't come out the bottom, but. I guess if I removed a couple more bits of glass, there would be a hole there. So I could fix that. But anyway, we're going to let this thing kind of just drift ominously. And go down and take a look at the U-Wing. Oh, I don't want to take too much time over showing these ships off. I might do this one separately because it's the best one I've built to date. So, uh, but yeah, here's the U-Wing. So it's sort of inspired by... So it's not to scale, it doesn't quite have the right shape or the right colour scheme, but it's just, a, you know, I just like the shape of it from Rogue One. So, um, first things first, it's got the sliding doors. Um, if I use those, yeah, they don't close quite as nice. I was messing around with them for ages to get them to sort of, just, I wanted them to pop out and then slide away, and then slide in and pop out, you know. Um, but it just wouldn't do it backwards. So they come it they come out correctly. But they don't they don't close correctly. Oh well. It's acceptable, you know? So you've got like the seats for the troops, and you could have more seats. I just didn't put them in because I wanted to have the hollow map. So it's got the ability to jump. Um Okay, so yeah, that's the doors. Uh, may as well show you the landing gear quick. So the landing gear are right here. They're pretty ugly, but it's the first time I tried doing landing gear. So um, they had they do fold away. You could put like a, a sort of cover around there, but if you hit this button, they all do that. So they fold down. This one folds around, and then the uh, that slides. So. I should put hotkeys. See, I hadn't figured out hotkeys properly at this point. So I didn't know how to make you do the external camera and trigger 
the animations. So yeah, that's the doors. And then obviously the party trick on this ship really is the wings. So let's transform the wings. Where are the wings? 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 No, no wing controls. They must be on the seat. Gear, seat, wings. There we go. So we have the sort of U. I just like the silhouette. It looked pretty cool. Got these two engines at the back with the forward sweep and then it, it's really funny in the movies they unnecessarily fold a lot it's like i'm going to fold before warp and then i'm going to fold as i come into orbit and then i'm going to fold again when i land and it's like it's kind of arbitrary it's just that, yeah i'm going to fold when it looks cool so yeah then you've got the sweep back for flight or whatever um and then i had a bit of fun with this cockpit because obviously cockpit's raised up here um, so if you see it sit in this chair and then you hit seat whoa that's not what I meant to do right click it kind of puts you up here in a roundabout way and then you again you can use the controls to fly the ship uh, obviously you can warp it from here you can do the landing gear and the wings um, but yeah I may as well show you actually the uh, the uh, the seat from the outside it's pretty fun actually making this transformable chair these little contraptions are really fun to build so there we have it our sort of active chair and again the download for these three ships is going to be in the description uh, just a short one really just to sort of run over these things um, this is probably like the second ship I spent proper time on and most of the time was actually spent making these wings because they had this weird weird pattern to them but you know there's a learning curve with all these games you figured out what takes time and you pull it all apart and start again but i just wanted to have that profile at like a sleek top with a big canopy the four engines the swing wings i had to have a go at the, at the landing gear um and then obviously i want i like these sli sort of sliding doors with a great big space because there's loads of space in there so yeah it's like a little 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 transport ship so that was fun so yeah thanks for watching in the next episode we're going to take a look at the peace liner which like i say is i've put a lot of time into this one um and yeah thanks for watching downloads will be in the description and i'll see you next time